Maddie was born on September 15th, 2002. She was a force to be reckoned with. She was a climber, she was a runner, she was a gymnast and a dancer. I knew that I had a feisty and fiery kid. And thank God, because as she grew older, boy, did she ever need to have that. I had been skiing since I was two years old. So I did like my, all of my levels. And then after that, I went into racing, into uh, trick skiing, and then I went into teaching. It's so freeing. You just like, you're zooming along. It's beautiful. The air is fresh. I was having a little bit of pain here and there, and then it was just zero to 100 when I was at work when I collapsed, so. It was really being made out to be like a one-off at that point. A lot of doctors just didn't believe me. How did this happen? How does this happen to this girl? There's something about having medical issues and not knowing what it is that's so, so much worse than knowing what it is. 18 months of worry, 18 months of tears, and why? because nobody thinks about arthritis. So eventually I was diagnosed with extremely severe osteoarthritis. Yeah, it was hard. It was definitely really hard. Like it was just a lot of things going away very, very quickly. I've been in walkers, wheelchairs, crutches, canes. You know, I think about that dress hanging in the closet and the fact that she couldn't go to the prom. I was at a place where I wasn't medically very well. There's no way I was gonna be doing all the things that you wanna do on your prom night with your friends. So I didn't wear the dress. I'd been doing a lot of therapy and I asked the big question and I had been waiting a long time, as long as I could to ask it because I was really scared of what her answer would be. So I said, do you think I can ski this season? And she just looked at me and was like, just no. It's not gonna happen. Your body will buckle under you. Being told I couldn't ski anymore was certainly one of the defining moments in my journey. Arthritis isn't what you think it is. Arthritis is not a two Tylenol problem. Arthritis made us get a fish tackle box because we needed more room for her pills. It kind of makes you disvalue yourself as a person because you're not very like effective to society. Everything was about my back and it was the only thing anyone wanted to talk to me about. So it just makes you feel like a problem, not a person. So sit skiing is a form of adaptive skiing where you're seated in what we call a bucket. I remember being really nervous because I love skiing and everyone really wanted this to work out for me. If it didn't, that's my last shot. And I got in the bucket and I was like, this is crazy. This thing is wild. I don't know how, I don't know where it came from. Don't ask me, I don't know either. But apparently I was just good at this. But I was so happy, so happy. Mostly just because it didn't hurt. Nice. They ended up having a meeting about me at the adaptive team. And on my day three, I got a video taken of me and then it eventually got sent to the Paralympics committee. I got an email in my mail saying, you know, we're really interested in you. You're naturally very gifted in this. And we were wondering if you'd like to train for it. My hope for the future is that people will do something for this, that people will put in the effort to learn about what it is and how to treat it. And I wish people understood the detriments it has on others because mostly people don't care, but it affects a lot of people. And I just think that as a society and as a community, we need to find a way to support them. My daughter can be a fiery advocate, but we need more innovation. We need new medications. We need new systems in place. We need support groups. We need research to be done. We need to solve this for everyone.